I'm so excited to be sharing my latest sewing pattern with you. Please meet the zip and grip. This pattern is an instant download PDF pattern that's available on my website at sewyours.com. This is a intermediate skill level, and the only reason that I've placed it at an intermediate skill level is because it does require a little bit of binding on the inside of the bag. So here is a quick look at the inside. You can sew this up on a domestic sewing machine or an industrial sewing machine. You can use vinyl, quilting cotton, or waterproof canvas for your zip and grip. So here is the prototype that I went ahead and sewed up. And for this one, I used a basket weave vinyl, and I did go with a waterproof canvas for the lining. This particular one, I went with all vinyl for the lining and the exterior. And you might ask, why would you want to do vinyl for the lining? Well, the zip and grip can be used as a cosmetic bag, a toiletry bag. You can go ahead and carry art supplies, sewing, craft supplies, whatever you can fit into your zip and grip and that you want to carry along with you, you can use your zip and grip for. So the vinyl is really nice because if there's any transfer like makeup or any uh, shampoos or anything like that that you might have, any product that might leak or transfer, you can simply wipe it away. Um, if you don't have vinyl that you want to use for your lining, here's an option for you. You can go ahead and use quilting cotton, get some clear vinyl and just base stitch that to the top of your quilting cotton. And now you have a lining that you can go ahead and wipe away any spills. The um, zip and grip is excellent for men, women and children. I do have a few of the pattern testers who went ahead and made this with masculine fabrics. Um, so that way a man can go ahead and use this as a toiletry bag or whatever else they might want to do. I've got a, a few other testers that went ahead and used some more um, cheerful, bright prints uh, that are more geared towards children, such as Disney fabrics. So the zip and grip is excellent for gifts. It's also excellent for those who like to sell bags at craft fairs. And the reason being is it only takes about four hours to sew up a zip and grip from start to finish. It requires minimal fabric and minimal hardware. So you can keep your price point for your bags a little bit lower. For hardware, you need two rectangle rings, four rivets, and about two yards of zipper tape. You can use number five zipper tape or number three or a combination of both. I did not make any hardware kits up for this particular bag just because there's hardly any hardware that's needed. So if you want any hardware, you can just shop it um, or individually on my website at sewyours.com. We've also got zipper tape, zipper pulls as well for you. Let's go ahead and talk about the interfacings and stabilizers that you're gonna need. If you're using any quilting cotton, you're going to need to iron on some woven interfacing. We do sell sew woven fusible interfacing on our website, so you can check that out. And then for your stabilizers, we have the side panels right here. Decavo Light is recommended. However, you, you could also use some foam interfacing. And for the bottom panel right here, I recommend Pellon Peltex as the first option. However, you could also use some Decavo Heavy if you have that instead. Let's go ahead and talk about the inside of the zip and grip. So we do have a center divider zipper pocket. This is great for smaller items like makeup brushes, pencils, whatever you might wanna carry here in the middle. Then we've got the two main compartments. We have two of the uh, slip pockets here that are relatively small, but you could put some smaller items like chapsticks or erasers, it all depends again, what you're using your zip and grip for. And then on the opposite side right here, there is another, um, zipper pocket right here for other small items. So this is a great bag, like I said, for all different people and all different uses. I think you're really gonna love making up the zip and grip. The only challenging part on the zip and grip is going to be adding the zipper pull and sewing this one inch section right here closed. We'll go over that in the sewing tutorial, which I have already done. We are gonna be making up a bag from start to finish. So I walk you through all of the steps. I'll put a link in the description box below so that way you can go ahead and check out that video. Uh, I recommend getting a stapler and about two to three staples to help you with this tricky little part right here on the bag, but it's completely doable. You just have to fight a little bit with to get that uh, needle to go past the zipper pull right there. So if you have any questions, go ahead and let me know in the comments box below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Purchase the pattern at sewyours.com. And until next time, bye-bye.